All right, let's bring in former presidential candidate, founder of the Forward Party, true free agent, Andrew Yang. Good to have you here, brother. Thank you. Uh, we have cause for celebration. Independents are on the rise. Uh, latest uh, graph on it, which is an informational reckoning, uh, follows up a Gallup poll. Uh, so here, independent, now 49 percent, uh, basically the same as the two parties combined. Now, this is the interesting part, though, uh, Andrew. They don't let independents say they want to be independent because you have a whole pollster business that wants to play to the polls, right? Uh, P-O-L-E-S. So if you're an independent, they ask you a second question. If you say you're a Republican, that's it. Democrat, that's it. If you say independent, they say, but which way do you lean? Because they want to put us into these two groups. What does it mean to you that people who are saying, I'm not a Democrat, I'm not a Republican, I'm not playing the game anymore, is on the rise more than we've ever seen it before? You and I see it every day, Chris. I talk to Americans who are fed up. They don't think that either party really is delivering or solving problems. They think they, they're engaged in this ideological back and forth that makes less and less sense. And what I was joking uh, with a friend about is like they pretend we're all chocolate and vanilla. Meanwhile, a lot of us are something else. We're cookies and cream, <laughs> we're whatever your favorite flavor is. Uh, and they, they want to try and keep us in these boxes when more and more people want to break out. Well, my favorite flavor of ice cream is more. Um, the, the thing I think is interesting, someone beat me up about this today. They heard me talking about the segment and what I was going to say. And they said, well, then why do you guys cover left, right so much then? Why do you always cover the parties? Why are you always covering what's happening? It's true. It's true. Uh, we cover the game because that's uh, what's obvious and in front of us. And that's what people seem to want. But maybe that's changing. Well, you do a great job of this, Chris, uh, and, and I think that the mindset that you're gathering, frankly, uh, here at News Nation actually is much more of this free agent, independent, tired of the nonsense. Uh, but you're totally right that the media plays this game where they say, look, if I give you more of this comfort food uh, that you want and blame the other side, you'll come back for more. And if I give you challenging stuff, maybe you'll change the channel. <laughs> so so that, that's something that has been noticed by a, a lot of other news orgs. But I think that this was a big part of your appeal on the presidential uh, stage as well when you were running within the Democratic Party. Even though you were a Democrat, you were saying, look, I just I want to find ways. I have principles, but I want some pragmatism here. I want us to figure out ways to actually get things done, because otherwise there's no reason for me to be here. I really do believe that culturally people are starting to see that politics is different than every other dynamic in their life. And they allow things there as almost a form of fealty to these parties that they would never allow in any business arrangement, employee employer arrangement or anything in their personal lives, you know, in terms of lack of accountability and going for people, even though they stink because they're the other side may be worse. Maybe they're opening their eyes. The question is, what's next? Yeah, what, what is next? Uh, and that the system that's in place actually can evolve. You see it in places like Maine, Alaska, and Nevada, where they voted to get rid of the party primaries and say independence and anyone can vote for anyone. Uh, that movement, coupled with ranked choice voting, is making headway in states around the country because you realize that if you open up the voting system, people will choose something else. I mean, if you're forced into a corner and say, look, choose one of these two options, then maybe you'll lean a particular way, but you want something else in the record. 62% of Americans say they want an alternative. That's why we started the forward party. Yeah, see, see, I agree with you. Because, like, you know, big brain uh, pollsters who I respect a lot will say, nah, people just say they're independent because that's like a cool answer to give people. But they're still, they still have their, their leanings. I see the reverse of that. I think they're forced to pretend that they have leanings because it's the only game in town and they have to pick a team. And they're being BSed all the time, uh, part of what we're dealing with with Fox and Dominion, to believe that the other side is evil. So even if you don't like me, you know, even if I'm a C minus, the other guys is straight F. And, you know, th that's why people are afraid to be independent. They're getting pushed into these categories and maybe they're finally breaking out. But systemically, you need change. You know, the race that you ran for mayor in New York City, they changed the rules and they had a ranked choice system. But statewide, you still got to be in a party to vote in the primary, you know. 
Yeah, young people in particular are saying that they're independents because they don't think that either party is working. And folks who don't think this is a real phenomenon, you can see it in poll after poll where the percentage of yep. self-identified independents just goes up and up and up. Uh, as, unfortunately, our faith in the, the parties goes down. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of NewsNation's fact-driven coverage.